How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to be demonstrating how you can set up a VPN on Xbox, as well as recommending some of my top VPN picks so you can choose which one suits your needs the most. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the VPNs that I'm about to mention a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money, as well as in-depth reviews for each VPN in case you'd like to know more about their services. So let's get going. Now, there are several advantages to using a VPN on on Xbox, such as server hopping, DDoS protection, as well as accessing geo-restricted content. However, it's not as straightforward as simply downloading an app like on a PC or a mobile device. Now, in order to set up a VPN on Xbox, you'll need to use a workaround as there's no direct way to install a VPN app. I have two options for you to consider, and the first is to set up a VPN connection on a router. However, keep in mind that the setup process can be complicated as different routers have different capabilities and not all VPNs support router setup. Once you've set up the VPN connection on your router, connecting your Xbox to it is really, really simple. However, this method does have some downsides such as having all your devices that are connected to your network on the same VPN connection, or if you frequently switch servers, which will momentarily disconnect your internet access as the VPN switches servers. However, despite these drawbacks, setting up a VPN on a router can still be a really good solution for Xbox. Another option to consider is sharing a VPN connection from a Windows device, but it is worth noting that it's currently not possible to share a VPN connection from a Mac device because of the limitations of the Mac operating system, and that's really unfortunate if you ask me. There are two options to share a VPN connection from a Windows device wirelessly or through an Ethernet cable. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use ExpressVPN on Xbox by connecting your console through an Ethernet cable. I'm using ExpressVPN as my VPN of choice due to its great speeds and excellent security. However, the general setup process is the same for any Xbox VPN choice. Before you begin, make sure that you have your preferred Xbox VPN installed and ready to use. Again, my top recommendations would be ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. Now, you will also need an Ethernet cable, so go ahead and get one ready. Now that we have that, we can proceed. On the Windows toolbar, right-click the connection icon, which will either be Wi-Fi or wired depending on your current connection, though I recommend wired for this. Once the window pops up, click on either the Wi-Fi or Ethernet tab, scroll down, and you'll see the Change Adapter Options settings. Click on it to open a window displaying all the network adapters connected to your device. The next step is to configure the VPN adapter. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Express VPN adapter, which is typically labeled as Ethernet 2 on most devices. Right-click on that adapter and select Properties. And in the pop-up window, navigate to the Sharing section and select Ethernet from the drop-down menu and check the box that says Allow Other Network Users to Connect. Click OK and exit the network settings. To complete the setup, you need to adjust the settings with your VPN app. In my case, I have to open the app, go to the settings, click on Advanced, and select Open VPN UDP as the tunneling protocol. It is important to note that this connection method will not work with WireGuard if you're using Surfshark, for example. Once you've completed the settings, establish a VPN connection to a server of your preference, then connect your Ethernet cable to the console and you're all set up. This is how you can set up ExpressVPN for your Xbox. And in case you're wondering why you would need a VPN for your Xbox, let's quickly go over some of its benefits. One of the main advantages is the ability to switch between servers. Providers that are considered to be the best for gaming typically have a wide range of servers to choose from. The most important aspect of a VPN, however, is data protection. With the VPN, you can protect yourself if you encounter a hostile player or a DDoS attack, since these attacks are becoming increasingly common and can be organized for relatively low cost. When searching for a VPN for gaming on Xbox, it's important to make sure that the VPN offers AES 256-bit encryption and has a verify no logs policy to protect your data. ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark all meet these requirements. Additionally, these VPNs feature RAM-only servers, which are unable to store any data. That means your information will be safe and it's really impossible to track. When choosing a VPN, it's also important to consider factors such as reliability, speed, and cost effectiveness. Many VPN providers now offer affordable options. So obtaining a VPN for Xbox may require some effort, but it's worth it for the benefits that it provides. Not only is it useful for gaming, but it can also enhance your streaming experience by allowing access to different Netflix libraries. 
Whether you want to take advantage of exclusive game deals or play on foreign servers, a VPN for your Xbox is always an excellent solution. And so that's going to be it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of the VPNs that I mentioned throughout the video, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. Feel free to comment below if you guys have any questions as I really love getting to interact with you guys. And of course, like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or you'd like to stay up to date with future videos. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Safe gaming and I'll see you in the next video.